Okay, this final section is going to look at testing. We've got two different people here. Stephen Blank, born 21st of the 5th, 1995, and basically James, who's born 20th of the 13th, 1995. In effect, you know, Stephen Blank should be allowed to be entered, James shouldn't. There should be two problems with James's. One that the month is incorrect, the other being that he doesn't actually have a surname, so we shouldn't be allowed to enter an, an incomplete name. I'm going to modify his just so it only will pop up the one error. Obviously, you need to you either create the data that you're given to use and test it, meeting the different requirements, or use the data that's been provided. So what we're going to have here is we need to basically test our database to work out if Stephen Blank is going to be allowed to be added into the system. So for this, the evidence we need to provide is we need to go into our students table, look at it, screenshot of the table before Stephen Blank has been added. Make sure we've got the screenshots down below. With that, we're going to close the table, go through, open up our form to basically add a new student. And then we're going to put it So we get Stephen Blank, 21st to the 5th, 995. screen of our messages saying they're valid. We don't need the ones that are telling us it's appending it. Any other error mess messages that pop up. And then our final screenshot of our students table showing highlighting the fact that Stephen Blank has been added in correctly. Obviously that works for Stephen Blank. Now we need to do work on the next one. So we need to move James. and add him in, and then screenshot of James not being added in. Once again, you also have the screenshots of the table without him added in before and after. Make sure those are nice and clear. Effectively, that is how we go through with the testing. In terms, you might also be asked to do the fitness test results. So, you know, adding in one of these tests, you know, choosing the options, entering them in, and then, as before, making sure you do a print screen of the table before and after it's added in. Other ones you might be asked to test, and when you do add in an individual result, because these are doing update queries, you need to basically go make sure your screenshot evidence shows the table in its state before and then once it's been modified, so if it's this record that was to be modified, this one here, and then make sure it's got updated with the newer values and any other changes that have been there. The key thing with testing, show you before and after screenshots.